to win it, pushing the limits. Relentless, my passion is endless. Whatever the sun touches, I'm king of it. What up, guys? This is the Till You Collapse podcast. I am Brian, and I am your host. And guys, we got a lot to talk about today. What's going on, guys? How you guys? We got Scotty over here to my left. Hello, hello. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. We got Kyle over here to my right. How's it going? Kyle, how you doing, I'm man? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. You feeling good from the events of last week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. You, yeah, you I'm recovered? Feeling, I'm recovered. Fully okay. recovered. Ready awesome. to rock and roll. Good, man. I love you. I'm glad you're feeling good. Oh, yeah. So, guys, man... So today is what day? Today is Tuesday. St. What? Patrick's Day. St. Patty's Day. Day. And fucking A, I didn't even realize it was St. Patty's hey, Day. Hey, you got, got that green, green on, though. Yeah. I do got green. On your you know hat, too. Oh, yeah. You can't repair. So, guys, I mean, just, just goes to show you, usually every year, everyone's preparing for St. Patty's Day. It's an exciting day. It's Everyone's drinking, having fun. Like, I didn't even fucking realize Nobody it was St. Patty's Day. Nobody even thought about it. Day. Yeah, to be honest. Not at all. We are all dealing with some fucking craziness, guys. The stuff that we're going through right now in our world is nuts. And I know you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And here's the thing. We're all going through this together. We're all in different points of our lives, different points in our businesses. It's affecting us all in different ways. But don't forget, we're all feeling this shit in one way or another, right? Yeah, definitely. 100%. It's just, it's just I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, for yeah, literally, it's it's crazy times. I mean, how are you guys feeling? I for sure have never been through anything like this at all. Yeah, I mean, for sure, you guys are babies. I mean, you're 22. Yeah, exactly. And you're 24. You guys are babies. You know, the last thing. Here's the thing. You know, the economy is going to take a hit. And the thing is, this whole coronavirus, whatever it is, whatever the outcome is going to be. The worst part from this is not going to be the virus or what it does to you or what it can do from the worst part of this is going to be the economic effects of this. And that's that's the truth. Honestly. That and the mentality. Right? Oh, yeah. for sure. People's mindsets right oh, now for too. sure. Yeah. hundred percent. Like, like, you know, and the thing is, we all don't really know. Not yeah, all. we're all in the same boat. Like. We're all in the same boat. We're all in this together, you know. And the thing is, is like back in, you know, 2008. I lived through that. That's when I lost everything. Like I've been through, that was the last time there was a huge economic downturn, a crash or whatever you want to call it. That was the lost time. 2008. That was what? 12 years ago? Jeez. Yeah. That was a long, long time. And I've lived through it. I've learned a lot from it. And, And here we are again. And this is a totally different situation. It's crazy. I honestly, I feel like I'm in a movie, guys. It's, it's. I'm just being real. Like sometimes I, feel, I feel like I've seen this movie before, but then, then I think like this is our life, right? I yeah. Know. It's weird, honestly. Just if I'm keeping it real with everyone yeah, listening, it's, it's like an easy feeling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's definitely surreal, especially because of the fact nobody knows what's really happening. No, I mean seriously, like we don't really know for sure. And like like we were talking about earlier today, taking it day by day. That's really how it is, you know? That's it. And and you guys, I know you guys are scared. There's a lot of scared people out there. Um, you guys just have to really, really try to stay calm. Look at facts. You know, look at facts. Do your own research, you know, and just look at facts and make your opinions based on the facts at hand, you know? And that's just – and try to stay calm as po- as possible. I know it's scary. Trust me. I mean – it's unsettling to me as well. But here's the things you can control, guys. And the things you can control in this time are very basics that I've talked about before because I want to see us all get through this. We all are going to get through this, you know. And the thing is, is take this as a lesson. This is a crazy lesson for all of us. We're all going to learn things going through this and it's going to make us stronger and it's going to make us well-versed more versed and more we're going to have more knowledge when we pass through this from from our experiences and just like in 2008 when i went through that me going through all that me losing all that me going through that is why i've gotten to the point i am now of a little bit of success and a totally you know 180 situation as i was in 2008 now you know facing who knows what's going to happen we're here we're still working at tyc you guys are still here. We're still making videos. We're still making content. We're taking all the precautions around here. We're keeping everything clean, wiping everything down, staying healthy ourselves. We, you know, we shut down the warehouse or we shut down the the storefront and the gym to any public people. So, you know, people normally come in here and shop. People normally come in our gym and work out whenever they want. 
we just shut that down just because we want to make sure everyone feels safe and as comfortable here as possible. And we just, you know, like I said, we don't know what's going on, but we want to just, we're the only ones that are going to be here basically. Definitely what I like to see is, is there's a lot of negative going around. I see that on social media and people talking about it. But what I have seen resurge lately is a lot of positivity. Like I'll see a lot of videos of people, you know, taking the time to say to other people, remind them, like if you have excess, maybe help some other people out. Even with all the panic and things like that, there's still positivity being spread and there's still people who want to do the right thing. And I think that's really cool. You For know? sure. I mean, that's what, I mean. Yeah, positivity is really what we need right that's now. That's it. I love mm-hmm. like, that's seeing it. people just honestly just doing their like normal day-to-day stuff. Yeah, like, taking that's the precautions, it. obviously, but yeah. like still be yourself, still like be happy. Like, that's find it. Those reasons that's it. Smile, and, you know? and that's how you're going to get through this, guys. You know, that's how you're going to get through this. Your attitude, right? The things yeah, you can control. We can't control what they tell us in the media. We can't control the virus. We can't control them quarantining us. We can't control any of that. It's out of our hands. But what can you control? You can control your your attitude. You're either positive or you're negative. Mm. I choose positivity. I choose that every day, right? That's just how I live my life, and that's what's helped me be successful. Positive attitude, mindset, outlook, every day being grateful for something, right? Mm. Even in times like this, you've got to be something grateful for something, right? Yeah. What are you grateful for, Kyle? Well, shit, I mean, to start, I mean, we're here, right? When we have the opportunity to continue to do what we do and do what we love, that's that's a big deal, you for know? sure. Yeah. I mean, and we woke up today. That's yeah. a big deal too. Hundred percent. Right? So, hundred percent. Right off the bat, those are two big things. I'm so grateful you know for. you can control that. You control your work ethic. You control your work ethic. You control you know staying consistent, putting your head down during times like this. We're going through right now. A lot of people get distracted. A lot of people choose negativity. A lot of people choose fear. You know, unfortunately, you know that's what they choose, and I wish they didn't. You know, but you know we are. You know being an entrepreneur and this podcast talking about what it takes to make you be successful, negativity and fear will not, you'll never be successful. You'll never reach your goals in any context, not just talking about the times we're in now, but in normal times. Yeah. You'll hold yourself back. Yeah, exactly. So this just, you got to stick to the basics and think about the basics. You know, you got to put your head down. A lot of your competition, a lot of people are going to stop working. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, and I know it's hard at times like this to continue to try to find working, but you need to innovate. You need to adapt. You need to find ways to make it work. You're obviously a hustler because you got to that point some way. You know, if you if you get to the point of owning your own business, you know, and being an entrepreneur, you're a very elite percentage of few people. If you got to there, just apply that to something else, you know, adapt, pivot, keep going, stay mm-hmm. positive, work hard, figure out what you can do. And what you can control. Really think about what you're passionate about. Really think about what you're interested in. And maybe the business you're currently in that's not doing the best right now wasn't really your passion. Yeah, wasn't really you what you wanted to do. Lesson, too. What, what if you, what if you, how about this mindset, guys? Mm. What if you've hated the business you've been in for the last three years and like, this is just, you're out. Like, that's it. Take right? an opportunity, right? Like treat it like a test almost mm-hmm. or another opportunity. I mean, it's just how you take it. It's just like, how you yeah. take it. Next, yeah, it's you how know? you take it. Like I said, it's how you take it. And the things is you got to just focus on what you control. Now. So we talked about attitude. Mm-hmm. We talked about work ethic and, and your, your work and just weathering the storm, guys. You know, it's just like if one thing about being truly successful is how much shit you can handle. You know, you see a lot of companies that outlast similar companies because, you know, the people behind them can take a bunch of shit, honestly. For sure. And it's not easy and it's hard. And this is honestly one of the hardest things we're all going to deal with. I've never seen some shit like this. You guys have never seen some shit like this. We all have never seen some shit like this. But the thing is, we're in this together. Let's stay positive. Let's help each other. Let's let's band together, right? right? You can either give up now or you can go until you get forced to give up, you know? Yeah. Or like Yeah. Up, yeah. You just gotta keep going. This isn't something you're in alone. Literally every single one of us in this country is in this together. Mm-hmm. We need to band together as a country. Band together, support each other, motivate each other, spread positivity, help each other. Instead of fighting someone for a fucking piece of toilet paper to wipe your ass. Give the elderly person a, your your thing of toilet paper. Jump in the fucking shower and wash your ass with your hand. How about that? Yeah. Like, what For the real. fuck, man? 
You know what I mean? Like, it's ridiculous. I've never seen some shit like this. No, I don't know. My mom says she was at the store the other day and she saw some people battling over toilet paper. Yeah. Still. After everybody. Yeah, it's crazy out there. Get a fucking old t shirt or something, dude, if you're scared of going in your shower. I know. <laughs> and here's the thing. So we're actually, we, we've been talking with a couple of local people here and we're trying to figure out something here to start doing. As long as we, as long as we can still be out and about, which who knows how long that's going to be. We really want to try to make an impact in our local community and we're going to start to get some supplies and we're going to drive. Oh, we're that's gonna awesome. Drive. So we're going to do a drive. Um, that's cool. I don't know if I've even talked to you guys about it yet. Uh, kind of with, with yeah. Brian. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to locally, we're going to try to do a drive, have supplies either donated or even if I have to go buy them myself and it, you know, it's, it's from the company, you know, I'm going to spend thousands of thousands of dollars, however it may be. And I'm going to find the supplies that people need. And really what I would like to do is be able to deliver to elderly people. Get them to those, oh, th- yeah. th- those are the people I'm worried about because those are the people that are really getting like, they're getting fucked in this whole situation. Yeah. I mean, this, yeah. this based on the facts, this virus is the worst for them. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. So they shouldn't even be going out theoretically in the first place right they really need to be just yeah. chilling at home like they don't need to be going in stores with all these people and then they're trying to get, go get their things and they can't even get anything yeah it's hard for them know, to get out anyway regardless yeah. Yeah, yeah it's hard so enough it's like, for them to you know yeah. so we're gonna really focus on them we're gonna have that coming in the next couple of days and you guys will be filming it we'll be for getting sure. content yeah. it'll be so really yeah. cool um and like i said i don't know i'm on the fence whether i ask for donations because i know you know obviously People are trying to take care of their own right now. And another thing. And you don't want a ton of people. That's the thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't want a lot of people coming through and increase. Like the reason why we shut down this place because we want to decrease the amount of bodies coming in and out of here. So I don't want to be like, hey, a bunch of people come here, donate. That just brings more people contact with yeah. us here. So honestly, I'd rather just us find a place that has a shitload of toilet paper and, and, and supplies. But here's the problem. I don't think they'll let us buy a lot, even though we're doing it for a good cause. Know, they're doing their like They're going to think we're doing it like these other crazy people. <laughs> so we may have to do it a couple times at a couple different <clears throat> stores. But I do know my buddy said, my buddy who's going to be in this with me, he said a lot of the transport trucks were held up in like Reno and Tahoe from getting over here because of snow and stuff like that. Oh, shit. So a lot of the places have been down on supplies, but a lot of trucks are going to be coming today and tomorrow. So a lot of stuff is going to have a lot of restock everything in the next few days. Nice. And hopefully these people that a week ago bought 20 packs of toilet paper don't need any more at this <laughs> point. Um, so there should hopefully, you know, because everyone's gone crazy and overly stocked up for stuff yeah, I know. hopefully there's going to be stuff where we can go and have free reign but it's just going to be for a good cause and helping people right now and then you know figuring out a way the only thing I'm, I'm trying to figure out is how we can connect ourselves with these people i mean i guess we can put something out there but i feel like a lot of elderly people aren't on aren't, social media social. as it is so i wonder if we can go like these elderly communities like sun city or something and ask them or i feel like I you could reach out to them right away but know, here's and another and then here's another thing i'm thinking about guys honestly i'm thinking about this live on the podcast this is how raw this <laughs> hey. podcast is we just fucking talk this is real you know we may not even know if we have this virus that's true so then if we're trying to do something well for these elderly Oh, they're going to let us in. Them, yeah. Oh, that's the other that's thing too, yeah. Thought. I don't know. They're going to let us in. Or if people deliver a bunch of products, they might have it. And yep. So, fuck, yeah. dude. It's just it's, crazy. Yeah. Right? We'll find a way, though. The best solution yeah, I know, right? What if maybe... Uh, yeah, I mean, the only best solution would be actually having, like, don't these stores have, like, delivery services? Like Some would do like supermarkets, directly the Direct, directly, but yeah. then I would need to know to who that was. That well, if anyone hears this podcast and they have any suggestion, because hopefully we're going to post this in the next couple of days, or if you know anyone that yeah. specifically needs this, yeah, yeah I, we, we, we really want to help people um, that really need it, man. I know we want to get on this podcast, we want to talk about this a little bit, talk about what you can do to really, you know, and to really get through this because you're going to get through it, you know, but you have two options you lay down and you stop, or you keep going, mm-hmm. you know. Which option are you going to take? You know, look at the positives in every negative situation. You got to find a positive in it. And I know it may be hard and it may seem impossible, but I promise you, if you think hard enough and you really look at it from all angles, you will find a positive in a situation. And it may not seem like now, but five years ago, when your current business goes under and you start up a business from your home grinding during these times of something you're truly passionate about, and then in three years when your new business you started during this time is 
making more money than even the current business you have now that went under, you're going to look back at this and say, I learned that grit. I learned that resilience. I learned those skills. I transitioned that and pivoted. And now I'm doing something I love and I'm getting even reward for it more. Why don't you think like that? Have you thought like that before? Really, guys? Like, think about that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, think about that. Look, how, it, does that it, sound it, good? It, like, it could be a blessing, this whole thing, well, instead yeah. of like, you know. Yeah, and it continues the whole thing of like, set yourself, your future self up for success. Always, no matter what comes at you, that's you know, it. and that's, that's the thing is like, you know, being an entrepreneur, being self-employed, like anything can happen, you know, like I have five people at home that depend on me. I have eight of you guys that depend on me. You guys are like my kids. You know, I have a lot of people that depend on me and I have to be successful because I want you guys all to be happy and healthy and that's on me and that's on my shoulders. So I, that shit drives me. It drives me, you know, and some people can call it stressful, but I fucking live for that shit and the fear of failure and the fear of never feeling, you know, that embarrassment and that failure and that feeling that I felt when I lost everything before the fear of feeling that again drives me. I have a bunch of shit that's driving me, you know, goals that are so big that would scare the shit out of all of you that drives me. I got a bunch of shit driving me. So I tell you, regardless of this fucking virus, regardless of what the fuck happens with the economy, I'm going to be successful because whether I need to fucking make a new business, change this business, figure out what happens, I'm going to do it and I'm going to work my ass off and do what I've done and stay consistent and take action and I'm going to make it fucking happen. Now listen to what I just said. That's the kind of fucking mindset you need to have. Look at yourself in the mirror have some self-realization and think about how you think about yourself, how you think about your goals, and how you think about your future. Because if it's nothing like that, you're not going to reach your goals, my friends. I'll tell you that for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah. We're all I in mean, this together. We're in this together, yeah. man. Yep. We're in this together. That's yep. it. Yep. You know, and like I said, we're rolling together as long as we can until they tell us we can't. And then we'll be FaceTime with you guys from home and be like, what content we doing from home, baby? Yeah, yeah let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll, I mean, videos. right? Hey, I'm we'll down for fucking it. do it. I swear to God, we'll figure some shit out. Find a way. For sure. Find a way. We'll find a way, right? So guys, really, that's it. You know, we just want to get on here and talk about, you know, what's going on in the world today and just realize that we're all in this together and that we, we, we all have a choice during this situation and we can, we can spin this situation in a positive light. And just like I said, Stay positive, stay consistent, stay hustling. You control all that, guys. Whatever you can control, stay doing what got you to where you're at. Just know, guys, honestly, I'm sending good vibes out to all of you. I hope you guys, you and your families are all doing well. You guys all make it through the situation. You guys are all healthy and happy. Honestly, I'm sending that out to all you guys. Please, if you got something from this podcast, share it. Until the next one, guys, we're out. I demand my place with the gods and greats. Could be crippled and blind, I stick with the grind. No one's stalling the climb, put it all on the line. Through thick and thin, I stay with the process.